FreeBSD versus Linux. A number of you wrote in and said, what about FreeBSD? Well, FreeBSD is great, with some caveats. FreeBSD is a very free OS, written by a very tight, well-knit community. And so the releases tend to be very stable, and they tend to run very well. You don't have some of the security issues that occasionally crop up in the lesser known non-enterprise version of Linux. The problem with FreeBSD is that because it's written by such a tight community, it doesn't have broad hardware support. They only write to drivers for the stuff that they have or that some of the hardware manufacturers have provided. As a result, FreeBSD doesn't run on every platform. There are advantages to FreeBSD. It has a Linux emulation mode that will allow it to run most of the software that will run on Linux just natively. Plus, it will run FreeBSD versions of those products. Often, the FreeBSD optimized version of products are faster than what Linux is. And this is because of that tight integration with the hardware and the you know, kind of Mac versus PC-ness of it all. Macs are generally more stable because they don't have to be tested on as many types of hardware because Apple owns the hardware that they're testing on. Well, FreeBSD is very well tested on a very small set of hardware. If you run hardware that's FreeBSD compatible, you can be pretty sure that you're going to have a very stable OS with very robust performance. But Linux has a wider support of hardware, so you can end up in scenarios where you're running some a configuration that wasn't tested. So I don't think that Linux or FreeBSD, either one is quote unquote better, they're just different and one is a little more mainstream and the other is a little less mainstream and one's optimized for broad support and the other's optimized for pure speed. So if FreeBSD will do what you need, it's probably the right choice, but be aware that FreeBSD doesn't do everything on every set of hardware.